Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and I'm going to talk about OpenID on WordPress. OpenID is an open decentralized free framework, blah, 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 as this definition says. But essentially, it is a system to allow you to log into many sites using one user ID and password. In the age of multiple web services and Web 2.0 and all kinds of web-based web applications out there we have a billion and one user IDs and passwords wouldn't it be nice to just have one well that's the idea behind OpenID now since uh, OpenID is becoming so popular with Google and Yahoo I figure hey why not put it on your WordPress blog and that's essentially what this OpenID plugin is built for so you go to verselogic.net or you can just go to Google and Google WordPress OpenID should be the first one to come up and uh, download this to your web server and I'm gonna go to my SSH window here and uh, you wanna extract that to wp-content slash plugins and what that'll do actually this is the the, the uh, path here what that'll do is that'll create a a new uh, a folder called WP Open ID, and within that folder you'll have a bunch of PHP files, some README files, so on and so forth. But after you extract that to WP content on your web server, that's pretty much all you have to do to install the plugin from the web server end. The next step is to go to your actual web server, and I'm going to use uh, Buona.tv as an example, and go to your plugins. Clicking on plugins, I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Go to your plugins and you will see a plugin entry called Open ID Registration. And what you do here is you just go to the right and you click Activate. Now mine is already activated, so naturally the, the URL, the link is going to say Deactivate. But the Activate link will look like this. Click it and it will turn green and be activated. That's pretty much all you have to do. Now after I activated this plugin it gave me an error and told me that um, that it didn't work but uh, after I refresh I think it fixed itself and did something by itself <laughs> so the next step is to go to options and then go to open ID on the tab and you can configure the options here for your open ID you can put in your URL for your trust route you can also Sorry, iPhone going off here. You can also put in your uh, put the URL box on your WordPress login form. You can also put it on your comment form, and you can also use an internal style, which I don't use. So, but you can look at that if you want to. So once you've gotten this going on your site, you can go to your website. Here I'm on Buona.tv, and at the bottom, I've turned on an option to. Since I've implemented OpenID, I'm going to require people to be logged into comment. This will cut down some spam as well. So, clicked on the login link, and uh, well, I'm already logged in, so let me sign out. <laughs> and what you'll see is a new box on your WordPress login form. It says, or log in using your OpenID URL. Now, there are several OpenID providers, and by clicking this link, you'll be able to actually that link doesn't link to it but if you go to Google and just Google open ID you'll see sites like my open ID and I think uh, I think the live journal offers the service a bunch of different open ID services out there just put in your URL mine is buona.myopenid.com and uh, you can register on this WordPress site and comment using your open ID so there's no need to create a new username and password and you can tell an open ID to remember that and everybody's happy <laughs> so go uh, go to again the site is verselogic.net if you have WordPress 2.3.2 is the latest I believe 2.2.3 or 2.3.2 it works on that and install it it's very simple and uh, implement OpenID your users users will thank you everyone who uses OpenID will thank you and I think it will encourage you to create your own open ID and utilize all the services that support it. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv. Enjoy your, enjoy your open ID and uh, hope you create an ID and comment on my blog.